What's up guys, it's Smith here from GamersHeroes.com and I'm going to have a quick guide for you in the front on how to set up a simple irrigation system and how the water system works in the game. So we're going to go for the slightly more advanced one here. The very basic one is just using the dew collector and the output pot. That's fine, it's easy to work out. I'm going to show you how to use the other stuff here. So involved in this particular guide is we have the actual water pump, which is the intake pump. This is something that you have to place in a water source. You're going to have to connect that to other devices to make stuff work. So... If you have a look what we're going to be able to achieve here, real quick, I flip this switch on, and then all of my plants, after a couple of seconds, will get watered. So this is a very simple process. Pretty much all you need is some power and the bits I've shown you here. So just for this video, I'm using my solar farm here. I've got another video on the channel telling you how to set up a solar farm, so if you're interested in that, go and check that out. I've basically got the, farm, the solar farm hooked up to this circuit breaker here, which is basically an on-off switch. I'm then using my electric tools to put the output into the input of a splitter, which splits the power into three. I'm then putting two of the powers, one into the water pump here, and then one into the intake pump over here. So with electricity and water in this game, it's very simple. Intake is what you're putting into the, the device. Output is what's coming out of the device. So all of my sprinklers here, their input is going to the output of the next one. So it's like creating one continuous pipe, except this one here, where the input is going from the water pump down here. So this little device here, the water pipe, the pressure pump, sorry, is not always needed. This is used to apply pressure to the water. So if you're going uphill far, so if I was here, for example, this is my pump and I, my base was up there, the natural flow of the water would not be enough to push it through the pipe. So that's what you have to use the pressure pump for. So I'll show you how to connect these here real quick. Let's get my water tools out. Let's destroy this one. So you see here you've got your fluid output is at zero because I haven't got the power on. I'll put the power on because then you can see it splurting out. It makes it a bit more uh, a bit more visual. Let's just throw this on real quick. So you'll be able to see now, so the power is in the device, it's collecting the water, but it's not attached to anything. So I'm going to put the fluid output here. Now normally you will probably just be able to attach this to whatever. So I can attach this to this up here if it wasn't already attached and just do the water. Um, but I'm just putting the um, the pressure pump in as well. So I'm going to put the output of the water on this one to the input on this one. That sends the water from that to here. It then pumps it through here up to there and spreads it across everything. Now, there is hydration when you're planting seeds. So let me show you real quick just on this particular topic. Where's the seeds actually? Oh. These are really good because you can farm the mucus. Now, if you look here, you can see the moisture. Um, I've not really looked much into the growing because like, even when I had half the stuff in red, it still worked perfectly fine. So that's why I put the on-off switch in. So that if the moisture does get too high and it's considered bad for the plants, I can just turn it off. So this pretty much works for any of the main water stuff you can get later. You can get um, water tanks and stuff. And it's all just about the input and the output. So you've just got to remember that you can only attach one thing to one thing, so you can only have one thing attached to an output or one thing attached to an input. And the stuff going in and the stuff going out need to align. So the water is going into this, so I need to make the water go out of it into this. I need to make the water that's going into this, out of this, into this. All right, it's 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 really simple, but some people seem to be confused by it. It confused me at first because it was just I don't know. It felt really technical, and it really isn't. So. It took me a while to get the hang of it. I'll show you the very, very simple one upstairs just in case you're very early on in the game. Um, this is just a very simple setup just to be able to water stuff a bit easier. So I made this early on. So this is just the water cooler, the dew collector, and a sprinkler. So again, it's just about a matter of lining up the output. So you've got the fluid output here. So that's telling you there is fluid coming out of this device into there where's it going then you direct it into the input on the sprinkler the sprinkler will then spread it out if i had more sprinklers here i could send more extra water from this sprinkler to the rest and so forth and so forth so guys that's how water works in the game hopefully this helped you out if you've got any questions post down below and i'll help you out if i can but yeah nice and quick nice and easy get when you get back to the game if we helped you out today do like subscribe we do appreciate it and i'll see you in the next one take care now